بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful Hello all dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers Welcome to Karbala Welcome to land of Hussein Welcome to land of Abbas Welcome to this land which is piece of paradise I was surprised just by starting the show. I heard my mobile is ringing, but unfortunately, still the internet connection is not okay. So I wish if, inshallah, all your hearts are connected to Karbala and to Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So for the beginning of this live ziyara, shall let's all together say a humble salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abul Fawl Abbas alayhi salam. And after that, let's see how we can spend our time with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليك يا ابن رسول الله السلام عليك يا ابن أمير المؤمنين وابن سيد الوصيين السلام عليك يا ابن فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين السلام عليك وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتك السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين بس يهم بسلام تؤبى الفضل العباس عليه السلام السلام عليك يا ساقي العطاشة السلام عليك يا قمر بني هاشم السلام عليك يا باب الحوائج السلام عليك يا أبا الفضل العباس ابن أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك يا من وفى ببيعته السلام عليك يا قطيع الكفين يا حامل لواء الحسين ورحمة الله وبركاته مولده النوني يا الساكن عيوني يا زهراء يا زهراء يا زهراء يا زهراء يا زهراء I'm 
Hearing this beautiful, you know, um, ceremony or the uh, majlis of uh, happiness uh, and looking at Bain al Haramain, you know, all these two things, all these things just make a very unique and beautiful atmosphere, especially here in Karbala. Well, you know that you are living in a period of time in which it is uh, or let's say these days are the days in which the holy infallibles are happy and it is called farhat al zahra or farhat ahl al bayt the happiness of ahl al bayt and i have told you that why we call it like this and um, you know um, so exactly as we passed muharram and safar Morning for Ahl al Bayt. In these days, we are happy for those great things that have happened in the past, and we still uh, have these ceremonies for them, and we are happy for them. In the next week, in 17th of Rabi' al Awwal, it will be the anniversary of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, birthday. So that is exactly a unique event which happened in its time uh, i don't know if you have ever heard about amul fil or not but exactly in the same year in which the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him was born a very great event happened in mecca um, kaaba was a very special place even for people before islam so people were going to Kaaba, just turn around it, and they believed in it, and it was a very great place. So in that time, uh, some other countries, they didn't want this, they didn't want Kaaba to be a very important place, so they decided to destroy it. And Abraha, who was, a, you know, let's say, a tyrant ruler, he decided to destroy Kaaba in order to change all the attentions to his own place. So he decides to attack Kaaba with elephants, with an army of elephants. He goes to Kaaba and at the time Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him, he was the, uh, let's say the key keeper of Kaaba. Um, and he 
uh, then Abraham asked him that, okay, now I'm going to attack Kaaba. Um, do you've got any question or is there anything that you want to tell me? Abdul Muttalib only told Abraham that you have taken one hundred camels from me. I want them back. And Abraha got surprised. He said that, okay, now I'm going to attack Kaaba and you are asking me about your camels? So what about this place that you really respect? The uh, Abdul Muttalib tells Abraha that I am the owner, the owner of the of these camels. And this house, which he was pointed to Kaaba, this house has got an owner who will protect it. Abraham didn't uh, understand what Abdul Muttalib uh, said, so he just laughed and gave him back his camels and started to attack to rush towards Kaaba. But as you have read in Holy Quran, Sur uh, Surat Al Fil, Almighty defended the Kaaba by Ababil, by little birds carrying stones uh, with them and throwing them, throwing those stones, those little stones to the army of Abraha and they all died. And in this way, in such a way, Almighty saved Kaab from being destroyed. So that year was called Amul Fil. That was a very, very important event which happened. So people started to count the history from that moment and called it Amul Fil. And exactly at the same year, Amul Fil, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was born. It was exactly 40 years before Al Hijra. No, I'm sorry, uh, before Al Ba'tha. Yeah, it was 40 years before Al Ba'tha because when the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was 40 years old, then he was uh, set to the prophecy and he was prophet by Almighty God and sent to people to guide them. Knowing all these things, we just noticed that the religion of Islam is so important and it's the final religion. It's the most complete religion ever, especially after Eid al-Ghadir, after the event of Ghadir, when the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, set and showed and introduced the commander of faithful Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam as his successor. So. Uh, even in Holy Quran, we read that, uh, we read that it says, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم. Today, I just completed your religion. Now, we as followers of Ahlul Bayt, we as followers of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, as followers of Commander of Faithful Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, we thank Almighty God for guiding us through this way and letting us be followers of Ahlul Bayt, of these infallibles. So knowing all this history, we know that we need to be happy when Ahlul Bayt are happy and we need to be sad for the tragedies which has happened to them. And these days actually are the days of the happiness of Ahlul Bayt salawatullahi wa salamu alayhim ajma'in. Let's all have a deep look to the atmosphere of Karbala. Have a break. I'd like to ask my brother, the director, Sajjad, to show beautiful footages from Karbala, Bain al-Haramain, Holy Shana from Hussein alayhi salam, and Abdul Abbas alayhi salam. And all together, congratulate Imam Hussein alayhi salam for this event and perform Ziyara. Let's have some beautiful footages. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. 
السلام عليك يا ابن رسول الله او امام حسين او امام حسين these days people are happy because you are happy these days are days in which the enemy of almighty god has been killed enemy of Fatima al Zahra Salamullah alayha has been killed. Ya Aba Abdullah, we are your Zahr. We are performing Ziyar. We are looking at your golden dome. And we are thinking ourselves in Bain al Haramain. Looking at your dome and the dome of your brother Abu Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. We ask Almighty God to hasten the reappearance of Imam of our time because it's still the main revenge of your blood has not been taken. It has not been taken yet. And by the reappearance of Imam of our time, Ya Aba Abdullah, we wish to be there. We wish to be his soldiers, to be able to revenge for your blood. Ya Hussein, you tried to guide people, even by your blood, even by the greatest sacrifice ever. And up to now, there are people who are guided because of your sacrifice. Ya Aba Abdullah, oh dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers, believe me, the silence, the calmness, the peace which dominates the city of Karbala and Bain al Haramain is great. It's unexplainable. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That Karbala is safe. There are some news about, and not only news actually, I'm living the situation about the demonstrations and about the protests against the government in Iraq. But believe me, Alhamdulillah, Karbala and especially around the whole Shah of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abdul Abbas alayhi salam is safe. Alhamdulillah. At least this live ziyarah show shows the whole world that Karbala is safe. Karbala is so in, in, in is in a great situation. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And those who wish to be za'ar of Imam Hussein alayhi salam can easily come to Karbala, perform their ziyarah. Ya Hussein, let's all together pray for the nation of Iraq, for Iraqi nation to succeed in their lives, to succeed in, their, in making their future as they are Shia. Let's pray for all the Shia nations all around the world. Let's pray for all the humanity to be guided through the true path. Let's pray for everyone to be able to find his path through all those things, all those different ways which exist in this world. Let's pray for everyone to find his path. His path of success. His path of guidance. And inshallah all of us be true followers of Ahlul Bayt. My dear brothers and sisters, let's recite Surah Hamd for those who are feeling sick in these days and nights, those 
who would like to ask Imam Hussein alayhi salam to heal them and ask Almighty God, ask Imam Hussein alayhi salam to heal all the sick people and relieve them from their illness. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din, iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina al-Surat al-Mustaqeen. Surat al-Ladhina an'amta alayhim. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Almighty here in Karbala, in Bainu al Haramain, between the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abu al Fadl Abbas alayhi salam, I ask you, O oh, Almighty God, please. Heal the mu'mineen and mu'minat who are suffering from their illnesses. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Let's recite Dua Faraj as well. And let's remember Imam of our time at this moment. And ask Almighty to keep him safe. Wherever he is. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma kulli waliyika al-hujjat ibn al-Hasan. Salawatuka alayhi wa ala abaih fi hadhi al-sa'ah wa fi kulli al-sa'ah. Waliyan. Wa hafidhan. Wa qaidan. Wa nasiran. ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين
السلام عليك يا ابا عبد الله السلام عليك يا ابا عبد الله Thank you everyone for tuning in and inshallah all of us be true za'reen of Imam Hussein عليك السلام Thank you for being with Imam Hussein TV channel Thank you for being za'ar of Imam Hussein عليك السلام Please don't forget to pray for us and I will be your representative here and perform ziyara on your behalf. Have a great time. Thank you for tuning in and Ya Hussein. Hussein.